So I've bought myself yet another lens and it is the Sigma 56mm 1.4. I've seen some really good reviews about this lens. It's a Fuji X mount, so it doesn't mean I need my adapter. It's small, it's light, I already like the feel of it. And I am here in Brighton and I'm going to test it out for the weekend. And I'm going to testing its photo and video capabilities. So the forecast is expected to be better, so hopefully make some good stuff. So who is this Sigma 56mm aimed at? And I'd like to say it's aimed at a very grateful Jay Ducker <laughs> because this lens is exactly what I've been looking for. It's so light, compact, durable, not really too many gripes I have about this lens after testing it out for the weekend. I hate the fact this is possibly called a budget lens, but it really packs a punch. The 1.4 aperture is very kindly appreciated. It's travel friendly, which is the best part about it. I don't mind putting in the bag with my 35mm. I hate using the same superlatives, but this is fantastic. And if it does something similar to the job of something that is far more expensive than this, then I'm going to choose this every time because I'm not a pixel peeper. I don't think the people I work for or the people who appreciate my work are either and I don't think many people could really tell so why am I going to spend more money just maybe for particularly for me the Fuji name this is a great lens I'm so glad it's in the X mount so I don't have to use my adapter obviously which would make it bigger but yeah I would recommend this to most people who have a Fuji setup it's a great lens and one that I'm probably going to use a hell of a lot let's talk about the cons now there are two that stand out for me when i used it in brighton this weekend the first thing is there is no aperture ring and this is talked about a lot in reviews uh it's not a huge problem because you can just use the dial on your fuji camera however it's so nice and because i'm used to it on other fuji lenses i do miss it on this it's not a big one but i'd like it so hey ho the only other thing i can say is that the autofocus isn't quite up to the standard of some of my other lenses but it still does an amazing job but i think what you're getting for your money out of this lens far exceeds something like autofocus and maybe we should all practice a little bit more with manual focus because you know there's a lovely manual ring here so maybe we should try using that once in a while Anyway, a really good lens. I really recommend it. I really recommend going to Brighton if you haven't. Great for street photography, so much color, 
so much vibrancy, a really great city onto itself. So yeah, go take some more photos, go make some waves, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace. Mm -hmm.